Singapore is a multiracial, multi-religious city-state that drew much of its citizenry from near and far over two centuries to be what it is today. Diverse, varied, but still unified by a common spirit, the Indian Muslims have played some key roles and contributed to the society. They became an integral part of Singapore's landscape, notably in commerce, journalism, language, law and order, religion, philanthropy, sport and the arts. This is a story of a small community of many languages, multiple identities and a shared aspiration as Singaporeans. This is the story of Singapore's Indian Muslims. Nowadays we have a mosque building fund, uh, but in those days uh, there was no government to say, hey, you can build a mosque. Under the colonial masters, uh, a group of uh, Malayali Muslims, uh, majority from the Malabar Muslim Jamaat, came together and they were very galvanized to build a mosque. Singapore, Tamil Muslim Abdullah <laughs> Many of the provision shop owners plus uh, the, the ice sellers who donated 5 cents, 10 cents, they went on a fundraising drive even to Malaysia to build that mosque. The initial estimates were 160,000 but it took 7 years to build. As a post-independent Singaporean born here, for me this is a great story of self-reliance. Twenty, about 20 over years ago, I started to cook for the mosque. Nobody else will cook for this mosque and their function except me. So when I get married, I still continue it with my son and my children usually come and help me in this mosque in preparation. And over the years, the biryani have become so popular and from the biryani, the greatest thing that I've achieved, I think, is to raise fun from my biryani. I have raised many funds for many organizations, for the old folk home, for the orphanage, for madrasas, mainly for mosses, and many organizations that need to raise funds. 